you're welcome to my channel mindset academy where we are to construct a parabola and the question goes like this it says construct a parabola using the locus method df equals to 30 millimeter axis equals to what 90 millimeter now you'll be surprised what kind of question is this what you do first of all you draw your horizontal line and you draw your vertical line this way you can see that so I'll make this to be thickened now we're not told that what the axis is what the axis is 90 millimeter what do they mean by the axis they mean the directories so that means the height of the directories should be what 45 it should be what 90 and this our line should be at the middle of it perpendicular to that line so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take my meter rule right and i'm going to measure what i'm going to measure half of 90 which is what 45 in this manner 0 to 45 and i'll place it at the center here and i'll mark up and i'll mark down right so that is where it is going to end so i'll be calling here to be my d d representing the word d directories right now we're not told that what um the df this is the line of d right then f that means f away from this directories here is given to be what 30 millimeter so i'm going to measure 30 from this point so from zero to what to 30 that will be the what that will be the focus df right directory to the focus is 30 so this is my what my focus f now if you notice unlike the previous video here we are not giving any eccentricity for this parabola here but well, naturally the parabola to the eccentricity to a parabola is given as what is given as one right it's given as what as one so what we are going to do here is the vertex is always half of the focus in terms of what a parabola. The vertex is what half of what the focus when you talk in terms of what a parabola. Now that is the essential to the parabola is given as what as one. So I'll just come here and I'll take half of it. Instead of doing that, I'll just bisect. Let me call this point to be my point d also because it's df now i'll come from here i'll bisect these two this way right i'll come here and i'll say okay i'll bisect up and i'll bisect down i'll place it here also i'll cut up and i'll cut down right then i'll take my line to pass through the point this way to pass through the point this way Will be parallel to the line DD. Right now, this will be my word, my vertex. Is that okay now? Now, what will happen is I can stick with this, or I'll further divide VF into two. Or instead of doing that, uh, what I'll simply do is I'll take my compass from V to F, right, and I'll bisect up. And also I'll bisect down. So I'm going to call here to be my V1 and what my V2. Is that the key now? Now I will now take my meter rule and pass it through from D to what to V2 this way. You can see that, and also from D to what to V1 this way. You can see that so what i'm doing is i'll start um i want to divide here into two also if i want to i can stick with this so I'll divide this into two so with, the, with this i'll be having uh up and down i'll come here also up and down so with the help of my square and my compass and my set t square 
I'm going to draw a vertical line that is going to pass through this, right? So this is a corner to be my point one, and here to be what my point two, and I'll maintain that height continuously that way. From here. Right, so I'll take this continuously from this point to this. Right, this is the next point. This is the next point. This is the next point. I can virtually just stop here. So here will be three, here will be four, five, and six. And I'll start moving that up. Stop in a D. Add D, add D, and D. So what I'll simply do here is this. I'm going to take the distance I will not set on the vertex here from one to this point here, just like I did in the previous video. This is um an hyperbola, right? I want to construct the parabola. So I'll take it from here to this point, right? And take it to the focus. I'll mark on that line one, one up and down. I'll come again from two to this point. Since already on the focus, I'll leave it that way. I see this is already on the focus, right? This way, I'll leave it that way. Up and down. I'll come to three. I'll mark up, right? I'll come to the focus and I'll mark on three up and down. Is that again? Then I'll come again on four, take it here, and I'll come on the focus, mark on four up and down. I'll come on five. I can just stop here virtually on five. I'll take it up here. Let's see it is here. And I'll come to the focus. I'll mark on 5, up, and what, and down. So I'll actually just stop at 5 here, or 4. So you see all these points. Here, this point here. This is the focus here. Right? I'll just take it there. It's already there. So you see all these points here. These points. These points. These points. These points. These points. This. 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 Right? This and um, this. Do it again. I'll just take my French curve and I'll connect those points together. Starting from the vertex. So I'll just go this way. You see that? So with this, I'll now turn it this way. Get okay, the other part. what we have here All right i can just complete this so this is what a parabola look like if you want to get the link on how to construct um hyperbola you can click on the top right corner of the screen here to take you to where you can actually watch um a video that will teach you how to construct what an hyperbola right now the major difference between a parabola, right, and an hyperbola is in their eccentricity. The eccentricity of a parabola is one, 
the centrality of an hyperbola is 3 over 2, otherwise stated. A parabola is more concave, right, than an hyperbola. An hyperbola is convex, more of a convex than a parabola, right? So this is just the major difference. The centrality of this is 1, Why this is what? Is 3 over 2, otherwise stated. Is that okay now? So, if you have found this video helpful, please don't forget to like, subscribe, share the video. If you have any comment, you can click on the comment. Thanks for watching.